Hi, this is Jerry Capote of WallDecalBusiness.com. Thanks for stopping by. This is a three-part video series where I show you how I design a wall decal, use the design to create a picture file display for my Etsy shop, and upload that picture to my Etsy shop to create a listing. In this video one, I'm going to show you how to design with Adobe Illustrator CS2. Okay, so I'm inside of Adobe Illustrator CS2 and right now we're up to CS5 but it doesn't really matter this is all I need to uh, create my wall decal design which is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go up to file new and I'm gonna choose a name for it it's gonna the name is gonna be Angelica for the file cuz I'm gonna use that same name for the design I also have to dis, uh, decide on my dimensions now I normally keep it at 22 inches wide because uh, my rolls of vinyl paper uh, are as wide as 24 inches so I have to cut within that area so I use 22 inches and for this design I'm also going to keep it at 22 inches for the height so I'm going to click OK and there it is now keep in mind this is actual size so anything I create in here will be that size if I send it to the cutter and I send a design that's 17 inches tall and say uh, 18 inches wide that's the actual size so what I'm gonna do is bring in a a design that I that I uh, have from one of my CD collections so I'm gonna go file place is what you wanna do file place to place it right on top of here and here it is that's my design. I'm going to click on place and it's a figure skater, which I'm going to do. I'm going to just place it right at the bottom and holding down the shift key. And I'm going to bring, bring up these arrows so it stays proportionate. More or less there. I'm kind of just guessing right now. And what I want is the name Angelica as a sample name right over the design. So I'm going to now click on the text tool and I'm going to make it a little bigger so I can see it. I'm going to type in Angelica and I'm going to just highlight it because I, I, that's not the, uh, the font that I want. I actually have this one font that I, that I like for this design, Lucida Calligraphy. There it is. All right, so now I'm going to use my selection tool and again holding down my shift key so I uh, can stretch it nice and evenly, more or less right there. I bring it up just a little bit so it's almost 22 inches there and I, if I make, put it right at the top then I know that it's exactly 22 inches tall so that looks pretty good I'm gonna keep it like that now um, if you notice this is my Roland Cut Studio plugin that uh, I've shown you in previous videos and I, I actually pull that up from from right here window Cut Studio plugin so that's that's how you get this window but you can't see this these designs right now uh, to actually set this up for the cutter for the vinyl cutter I would have to right click and you know select it right click and create create outlines and that's what that would look like but actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit undo that because I never do that ahead of time um, especially uh, particularly for the for the font for the uh, text because I want to be able to uh, when it comes to time to create the design, I want to be able to, you know, change the name to whatever I need it to be, you know. So, I want to just uh, undo all this that I did here. Okay, there we go. Back to Angelica. Uh, so that's why, I, you know, but basically that's what I would need to do to create the outlines to then send it to the cutter. So it's not really cutter ready at this time. So I leave it like that. This one, however, I, I do need to do something to it because since it's not going to change much other than me being able to stretch it, you know, big or small, it's not really going to change much. So I need to select it and click on the live trace for this design, live trace, because it's not ready. It's not uh, vinyl cut ready, uh, vinyl cutter ready. So I did the live trace. Then I need to click on live paint and it's almost ready now you see the outline plus you see all this white uh, all this uh, this line around here we, we're gonna need to get rid of that in just a second the last thing we need to do is expand so I click on expand and now I'm ready what I do is I I, I, sele I deselect it or unselect it and then I go back in select it and double click you see how I get this gray line right here and I hit delete Oops, sorry. I, I select one time further, 
because I'm going to get all this white out of here, delete it, gone. And this side too, you see it's grabbing this little bit, which is, has to do with this side right here. Delete, that's gone, and I'm almost ready. Down here, I have to grab that and delete, and that's gone. Now, I, I always check to see, you see, there's one right there, which is falling right in there. And actually, what that does, if I were to leave that, it's, it, it does a double cut right on the same on the same cut, so you don't want the cutter to go over the cut twice. So delete that one, delete this one, and finally that one. No, finally, no. Let's see. Oh, there's one more. I almost missed it. And there it is. Now my design is really ready. So, uh, you know, if, if I were ever to create the outlines for the text, that's what it would look like, and then I can send it to, to the cutter. So, uh, But I'm going to undo the text because I want to save my file now. I'm going to file. Uh, save for the first time and it's already have it it already has the name Angelica on it and I'm gonna I'm gonna save it right in there save oops save as an Adobe, Adobe Illustrator and just click OK with with the default settings and you're good to go there's your file now in the next video I'm gonna show you how I use this same file uh, to create the displays that I use for my Etsy shop. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and well, I'll see you in the next video.